You know, last time we had a video, oh, and before I forget, that video about going from Figma to CodePen is right around here somewhere. So if you go watch it there, we took our design from Figma to CodePen. However, we've been using a low code platform WordPress and Elementor, a WordPress builder, to actually construct our landing page. So how do we go from CodePen to Elementor? Let's find out. This isn't our website, this is CodePen. So we want to actually bring it over to our website here. The first thing to do is to edit this with Elementor. So we're going to click that, completely erase this all out. Okay, all of it. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we are going to place this HTML in there. So what I can do is actually grab everything in here, copy it, come over here, we can click this structure. All right. I like to right click the blue tab and edit section and make sure the height is fit to screen. So it's a full height. Now our box is in the middle. Thanks to flex. CSS. The next thing we're going to do is come up to our dice and we're going to go down to hiding the pro features. We're going to go down to general and we're going to add in our HTML. Boom. Okay. So now we have our HTML area here and we can add that code in. Boom. Now it's going to be ugly before pretty, isn't it? So if we come over here, we're missing all of this styling. So I'm going to copy that all as well. And I want to come over here. I'm going to remove the body tag because actually we already have a body on this page. The next thing I'm going to do is I'll go above this and I'm going to type in style. This gives us a style sheet inside this HTML and now I'm going to paste our style sheet in there. All right, not everything is perfect as you could tell. It looks pretty good actually for what it is. We just don't have these things centered. Let's go see why that is. Let's go to style. Let's go to typography. Yep, center aligned. That's what was missing. And then I'm just going to update it. Come over here. Oh, it's fixed. Looking good. Now, oh, see that? We have this overlap. So what I can do is again, go back to this section, edit it. Uh, we called it LP, so here's that background color. So what we're going to do is go over to Settings, Style, Background, Classic, Color, paste in our color, and there we have it. I can update, and this will have the full color at the bottom. Looks like we need a, a little bit of um, some styling here still. So for example, this input field here with the ID MC email, we were doing this border for it. Let's put that hashtag there to really force the style. Now it's overriding it. Okay. So I just added that to there and let's do it for the button as well. Let's go down to get the button. It's called submit class button ID MC embed subscribe. So we're going to grab that as well. I'm going to put a hashtag and then it, it really forces it. So let's go back to here. Here I have a width and we can do custom. Aha. And now it's going around there. You see, it's nice and tight. For some reason though, it's not aligning with this text here. Let's go to this column, edit column, and let's see what's going on here. There it was, horizontal align, nice and tidy. Update. The next step that we wanna do is responsive design. So we're gonna come down here to responsive mode and we're gonna go to mobile. And you can see everything is just too squashed in here. For whatever reason so what we're going to do is come back over here add a media query we're just going to paste it right in there we have the button itself as a padding 
and of particular interest is this 50 on sides. Let's just reduce everything to 20 and immediately it's starting to look better. So that's that subscribe button. Let's come up here to this email, grab that. I'm gonna put them in the same order that they are in. And here we're gonna do padding zero. See what that does, okay. Let's do zero here as well. Yep, starting to do it. Starting to fix the alignment issue. Aha, min width. Because of that min width on email, bring that down, min width, and I'm going to say zero. Yeah, okay. So now we don't have a min width. So that form was giving us a headache. So we had to add this media query to it. Let's take a look on tablet now. Perfect, actually. Desktop, perfect. Back to mobile, perfect. Now we want to add some padding in here. So let's go ahead and on this email form, let's add just a little bit of padding on the left. So it's like usually top, right, bottom, left. So the left is the last one right here. And then let's do it for our button as well. Let's just give it uh, some zero five pixels for the left and right. Maybe we go to 10 on that. And what I'm doing is I'm just adding it on the left and right there. And to me, that looks pretty good. There we have it. We have our, let's see what happens. Ooh, nice and tidy. You know, I think that that's pretty good for now. We have our website here. And if we sign up, it takes us to the thank you page. If you enjoyed this video, please click the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. It keeps this channel alive. And to be notified of future videos, click the bell icon down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.